Good morning, everyone. This is Leslie Jufless. I'm with Trading Live Online, and I teach traders how to trade using pattern recognition. And we're going to look at some charts today that has some patterns and some potential setups on them. And uh, we're going to be looking at the S&P 500 E-mini, which is, for me, that's my staple um, market that I look at in trade. And we're going to look at Intel again, GE, Ford and Oceaneering International. So let's get started. First of all, let's do a bit of a recap with the S&P 500. I was on um, the show last on May 7th and was showing you these particular patterns. Um, we have a big retracement pattern, a Gartley cell pattern that's been going into a sideways range for a bit over a month now. Um, I, if you're not familiar with AB equals CD patterns, I put in just a little bit of drawings of what a buy pattern looks like and a sell pattern looks like. But we can see on the chart, I've got marked in with the pink lines, um, there have been some really great trading swings for shorter term traders uh, within this larger range. So I marked in here, there was an A, a B, a C, D with the pink lines, a buy pattern that completed just a few days ago. And just before that, there was a little A, B, C, and you can see where that D is right here. That was a sell pattern. So I've now drawn in some new trend, uh, new trend lines. Uh, you can see them right here. And you can see where I have reassess above here. Well, the market uh, has just popped above that in the Globex session last night. Now we're coming back down. We do have a pretty strong bar here to the upside from yesterday. So the market may do a big consolidation here. What I would be watching for on a good breakout is a strong bar that closes above this area. Now if we get that, then these retracements, higher retracements up around the 786, you can see there is some resistance um, from February, March in there. And then also this 886 area up here is likely where the market will trade to. Now, if the market does first and come back to the downside, these are the areas to watch. You see these little bars right in here, these three bars, and you see the trend line. They were just sort of hugging that trend line. And the low of yesterday's bar is right in those ranges. So a move down below yesterday's bar is gonna be breaking this trend line, and then we'll be watching this trend line to see if there's a break and a larger move to the downside. Or the other possibility is we just stay in this in this range. So, um, I, but I do think we're gonna see a good breakout coming soon. Okay, let's move on. Intel is another chart that I presented, and this has got what I call the money box pattern, which this is still in play. So let's talk a little bit about this pattern and, and how you can trade these. First of all, we see where this center line is, and you can see all of the trading the market has done up and down and around through this. It's a little bit... Um, tough to enter into these around the center of these unless you have some really compelling evidence of a direction um, out of this range. But normally you can use the um, either test of the lower ends of the range to buy or the upper ends of the ranges to sell, but eventually it's going to break out of here. Um, Intel today is up a, a bit higher. I checked it this morning. It's just above um, I think it's at 61, 61 and a quarter somewhere. So it's heading back up towards this upper range. So you want to watch this and see, again, if you get a good solid breakout above that range and it holds. And then we've got some projections on this because we have a $6.20 range. So the projections would uh, be 68.33 on the high, which is right back up around the um, highs of Intel. And the low projection would be back down into the test of the gap uh, area here. So um, the RSI, as you can see down here, I have a couple arrows marked with it. And the RSI has also been in the sideways range. So if we see a breakout to the upside, we want to see the RSI continue to rise. If the market turns around and comes down through the downside, we want to see the RSI move down with that. So this is also a range and it's definitely worth keeping an eye on. 
Okay, let's move to the next chart. Um, I've got GE here. Um, yesterday, GE had a nice gap up. That's when I did this chart. So it's got a little bit of an update um, on the price for today. But a gap up um, out of here on a very strong volume bar on GE. And that makes with this gap area and this low here for long uh, trades, um, a good stop loss area just below uh, these lows here is with a long bar up and this long volume bar with it, um, GE, you know, in parentheses should, which is sort of a four letter word in trading, should not be coming back down below here. But if it does, we always want to use stop losses in trades. Um, so again, with any um, sort of a breakout through a trend line, you want to see a strong move, uh, strong move up and hold that trend line. It could, you know, maybe come back a bit and test into this area, but anything below here, and it just negates that. And again, you can see the RSI has been in a sideways range. Uh, we also have had uh, MACD divergences where the MACD barely went negative on these lows in GE. So there's another one to watch. Let's move on now. And this is Ford. Um, and Ford also so many coiling patterns now, but here's the ABCD buy pattern. And we'll see these a lot in the coils that are forming and they can offer really good um, early entries into patterns such as this when they appear. So Ford also has a gap up. We're still within the range, but you can see a volume rising. Look at how the D here has held not even into the negative territory. And again, the RSI in a range, but it appears it's starting to climb. Uh, same principles with this. You wanna see a nice strong breakout um, to the upside uh, with some continuation. Um, and again, here below this area, stop loss placements below this trend line would be a reasonable place. Okay, now here's, um, this one is uh, Oceaneering International. And again, we're seeing, you know, the same sort of a coiling process. And if we look up here where the, the scooter is, uh, this is also a relative uh, strength um, indicator. It's not as strong as you'd like to see, but what I noticed on this was this the relative strength indicator down here in the lower window. And we can see that it has been um, rising and holding these bullish areas, but it's, it's a bit of a conflicting chart right now. And, and you come across these sometimes and it's like, well, what do I do with them? Well, sometimes you have to have a little bit of patience. This one you can see within the coil formed an A, B, C, D. This is a cell pattern. And it um, the price came down from that just to the, about the lower trend line. Well, the high, of the, the high of this little bar over here to the left that starts this pattern is actually just about where the price is um, currently and just holding above that. There's quite a bit of resistance up in this area. But again, if we see, if this RSI continues up and we see a stronger break, then we may see this gap fill up here. There is a possibility, of course, that this, the weakness may come in and this fails here and we come back down through this trend line. This is a little bit of an unknown here, but because of this relative strength rising and some potential um, strength coming in, I would certainly keep an eye on this. Possibly a test down and a holding of this trend line and then some nice stronger bars to the upside might offer um, an entry um, with these, this would be a shorter term uh, with targets up around the gap, the gap area. So that's it um, for the daily five, the charts that I'm looking at um, today. And I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. If you want to learn more about pattern recognition, then please feel free to come visit me at my website. Have a great week, everyone. Hey guys, Grayson Rose here with StockCharts.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you did, give us a like down below, leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial minds. We'll see you back here very soon. Happy charting, my friends.